Hello everybody, today I have some uh, important news to share with you regarding my uh, idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Yesterday I was at my eye doctor for a routine checkup and uh, the pressure around my uh, optical nerves in both of my eyes have decreased a lot. Diamox is working for me and Diamox is the medication that I am on. It is just super nice that I am uh, responding to the medication. I don't want to go blind but anyway I want to show you a picture of my uh, eye nerves at this moment. This is how it looks at this moment. Basically what you see here is my eye nerve entering the eyeball and uh, divides into smaller eye nerves. That white ring is not really that good because that is uh, fluid pressing on that single point where my eye nerves enters the eyeball. That's not good because that can lead to blindness. My doctor looked at that picture and uh, looked at my previous pictures and uh, the pressure has reduced significantly. My eyesight is normal. Everything is normal with my sight except for that I have some kind of diplopia. And usually with my super rare neurological disease you can have some kind of diplopia because uh, the eye muscles get affected. I have some kind of diplopia where I look at the sides of my eye sight, then I get some kind of uh, double vision. But the diplopia that is more common with my disease is when you look more central into your eyesight, you can get some kind of diplopia. And I do have some of that, but my double vision is more like, for example, if I look like this and into the sides of my eyesight, I get double vision here and uh, I get double vision when looking like this and I get double vision when I look like this and I also get double vision when I look like this. And my doctor thought that my double vision might be connected to my idiopathic intracranial hypertension but uh, he's leaning more towards that maybe it is not because it's not uncommon to have double vision in the adult uh, population. So we sent a referral to the hospital's uh, optician and uh, they will meet me sometime after summer and maybe I need some kind of uh, glasses after that. He talked about Prisma glasses and I don't know much about that but uh, maybe I need some glasses and uh, that's it i don't want to have glasses but uh, it's not a huge big deal for me but otherwise with my um, idiopathic intracranial hypertension uh, i have felt very tired the uh, last couple of weeks and i always feel tired this period in the year i have been thinking that might be connected to the changes in the seasons because uh, here in the city where I lived we usually have a very cold spring and then just summer happens like this. It can literally go from like 5 degrees uh, Celsius plus to like 20-25 degrees plus in one or two days and I think I get affected by that and it stays for a couple of weeks and I get super tired and with that also comes some anxiety, some uh, neurological headache uh, and uh, some vomiting and uh, so in conclusion May and the beginning of June is usually a, kind of a tough period for me because it takes some time for me to uh, adapt. That's my theory at least because I usually don't have any problems in July and uh, August. I like to travel in July and August and can visit places that have like 30 plus degrees Celsius and it's no problem for me. I just think I need some time to adapt and that's also why I take my holidays um, in that period. But anyway, please feel free to uh, leave a comment, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button also and uh, see you in the next one. Bye!